Sophie's casket, and why don't you open it up and show the little package right. that... Uh, Let's you do it, because yes. you brought her. Karen, we have in our little packet here. Let me show you. We have a little black bag to hold her things. A little pink ball with a bell in it, so she can play. And look, a picture of you guys. So she remembers what you look like. That was us at um, Corey's one night. And there's her $1 coin and lipstick. <laughs> because we know that you don't go anywhere without your lipstick. And, <laughs> and Sophie just might love to have some lipstick. So we're gonna put that back in the little bag. And we have some flowers, just her little boa and her little stone. What a beautiful stone. Hi, Karen. Kind of reminds me of our little Bella trip that we took down the hill. Sure wish you were here, though. It would be a lot more special if you were here, but we're thinking of you. Oh, I was going to grab a phone. Someone got a cell phone? Do you have your cell phone? We need to call her when we're to get down there, so... Mm -hmm. I told her we I told you that we would call you when we got down there and I think we should do that. So I hope everything's going well with your new job and we miss you. So we're gonna walk down the hill now and have a nice little ceremony for Sophie. Flowers, we have flowers here too. Your nasturtiums. And your little daisies, They're kind of closed up right now. And then some from my my flowers too. Nice fall colors. Right here, and she's right here. Come on, Scouty, get over here. Come on, Scout. Scout, come on. Come on, Scouty. Scout. Yeah, right there's where Bella is, right? Yeah, right there. there. Yeah. I mow it. I mow it back okay. in here and keep Let's it cleared out. We'll do a shot of snap. How old are you, doing? Twenty. Whoops. You're twenty. How old are you? Eighteen. All right. Snap. Do you guys ever drink? It's all right. It's okay. All right. Uh, You're not driving or anything. No. No. I don't want to be confusing with the. You can only have one. <laughs> Yeah, I got just okay, enough. Okay. Hold, it's, and one for me. Okay, I'll hold one for you. No, you got one for Raul. You got a whole one for me. Yes, I will. Okay, we're going to have a little salute, a little tribute to Sophie. Sophie. Poor Sophie. She was a good cat, I've heard. She was a good cat when i seen her. She'll be a good cat in the next life, and she's got Bella right here to play with. So. And Bella... Karen thinks about you all the time, and she'll be thinking about you on 919. And the or no, she thought about you on 919. That I think that was the date, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Karen, I think that was the date. And the deer and the raccoons and the squirrels and the rabbits are going to come and visit her every day. Yeah. Okay. So she'll have lots oh, of company. Man, I lost it. Oh, you're on it there. So she'll have lots okay. of company on here. Okay. Okay. Here's to Sophie. Here's to Sophie. Good luck. Good. Here's, Here's to, to Sophie. Sophie. Here's to Sophie. Sophie. Go to Karen, the Rainbow Bridge. She's, she's okay. had a, a proper internment. Salute, Sophie. Yep. She's she moving is. on just like you did, Karen. Okay, and here's some flowers for you, Sophie. Proper send off. Yay, so Yay. We'll miss you. We'll miss you too. We'll see you in another tonight. lifetime. Okay. Hi, Karen. I'm Haley. We haven't met yet, but we did over the phone. Um, Raul wanted me to tell you about the day that we stayed the night at um, your guys' house. And we were laying down, and Sophie was cuddling with me and, you know, nestling up to my head and, like, kneading at my face and stuff. And Raul said that... Um, she probably thought it was you, so we just wanted you to know about that. And Ruben has a story too. I don't have a story. <laughs> she laid with us in bed most of the night, and it was thunderstorming really bad, and she just was kind of 
Really, she just seemed really comfortable just laying there. <laughs> yes. 